Hello, my dear students. Welcome back in Gypsum Academy. Today, we are going to talk about the class 12 information technology and the first chapter that is the first unit which is known as the database concept. So, that chapter I am going to discuss with you. So, let's move on the topic and just try to explore okay, what informations are given in this chapter. This is the unit one database concepts and here you are going to learn about the database and what is the basic of the database. So, today I am covering the basic of the database. In that, uh, I try to cover the advantage, disadvantage, there's all things I try to cover it here. Okay. So, the first things you have to understand is okay, why the database is important here and what is the requirement of the database. Actually, while you are processing with the data, uh, the, your whole decision is totally dependent upon the data. The availability of the data, the accessibility of the data is decide your decisions taking power. So, means if you, if you want to take a decision, definitely your decision is totally based on the data. So, data plays a very vital role here. And because if the data is not going to get available to you at the time when it is required, then you are not able to get the, uh, you are not able to take the proper decision. So DBMS or database software is providing this facility. They provide the data in an accurate manner, in an efficient manner and on time also. So first you have to understand okay, what is the data. Actually data is the collections of the facts and figures which are not having any meaning, which is required to be processed, which is required to be processed. And after processing, you are able to get the proper information, proper uh, concepts from that data. So the raw facts is called the data and but when the data is get processed with the some system and some process is going to follow on the data, then it becomes the information. Like this, you are having, suppose you are scoring the marks and your class is scoring the marks. So now the marks is becomes the data here and after going to calculating their total, to their average, their maximum, their minimum, means this process, after doing this process, you are able to find out okay, what is the performance of the class. So that what is the performance of the class is the actual information and the way you are getting this information means the way you are processing the data means calculating average, calculating total, this is called processing and the whatever the marks you scored, that marks information that becomes the data here. So definitely databases play very vital role in our daily life and every day we are going to use the database. We are supposed to store the information. We are supposed to maintain the some information. So to maintain the information to keep the record of the students in a school, definitely your school is going to maintain register and in everywhere if you are not using the computer system, if you are not using any proper software, then definitely you are using the register and if you are using the computer, then most of the times the people are try to maintain the information on the Microsoft Excel application or a spreadsheet application but that is the totally manual system so while you have to make any other report you have to take any decision definitely you have to invest the lots of amount uh, lots of time on that not the amount amount is also there but the time is the most precious things so to overcome this we required a DBMS software we required a database so what is the database? Database is the collections of the related data. The database is the collections of the related data which is organized in a proper way which is made available for searching that is called database. So every database is having the some properties. Now we are going to talk about the database has the some properties. So every database is having the some properties. The first thing is the database is related to the real world concepts. So whatever the information you are gathering you are going to manage that definitely it is related to the real world. It is designed to build and populate it with data for a specific purpose. Means while you are dealing with the database, it is going to uh, it's provide you the information about the some particular things and it's going to fulfill your specific purpose. It can be any size. Data can be any size and complexities. Data can be maintained manually also or it can be computerized also. The need of the database, as I told you just before, ki while you are maintaining the information in the form of the file, you have to do everything in the manual. 
and the first thing and second thing you require to manage the so many files and these files are not interrelated so while you are gathering the information you have to get the information from that file also and that file also and it's becomes a time consuming process but we want the data on time and we want everything quickly so that is not possible with the manual file system except this there are some more disadvantage of the manual file systems and these are these are the one is called data redundancy because you are maintaining the informations to the several files so it is possible that you are going to maintain the you are going to keep the same information on multiple places and it's create the duplication of the info duplication of the information so it is known as the data redundancy the second thing and due to data redundancy you are going to waste the space also wastage of space also because due to redundancy you are going to uh, uh, you are going to face the another problem and that another problem is called data inconsistency inconsistency means the same information is available means you are try to want you want to get the information about this mark this pen but the some file is giving the some other information and some file is giving the some other information that is known as the inconsistency and it happens it occurs due to the uh, duplication of the data because the same data is written in the several places you are updated at one but you are forget to update on the another place also okay lack of the integrations and this inconsistency is only occurs due to inconsistent integrations problem here the data are independent the file are independent so accessing the informations from the multiple files it's become the very difficult so to overcome this problem you supposed to use the database approach so database approach is help database help us to manage this because database provide the facility to store the all information into a single repository and these in these informations are interrelated also so what is the dbms software what is the database management system it is a collection of programs that enables users to create maintain and use of the database it enables you to create a repository of data it defined once and then access by the different users as per their requirements so single repository of data which is accessed by the all application program now look at this application program dbms software and storage database so so many application programs can access the same information from the same database so various operations that need to be performed on a database some operations you are supposed to follow just defining the database you supposed to be defining the database and while you are defining the database you are defining their data type you are defining the constraints of the data you are feeding the informations into the database that is called populating of the data you are going to manipulate the data also by getting us the data by retrieving or modifying the database by retrieving the database by querying the database by generating reports from the database you are sharing the database also allowing the multiple user to access the same database at the time you are going to protect the database definitely because multiple users are accessing the same database so you must have a software through which you can allow only all thrive user to access the information database maintenance is also required here there are some popular example of the dbms mysql oracle db2 ims ids now the main characteristics of the dbms what is the main characteristics the first thing the database systems are the self describing nature means informations you will able to get the information about the information data about the data and this is called metadata and this is called data dictionary so data dictionary is a file where you are keeping the informations about the data there you are uh, insulations between the programs and data dbms also provide this facility they try to interrelate they try to relate the data and the programs all together so any changes made by the programs that's going to be reflect in the dbms software also in a database also sharing of data acha this is the one more thing is there sometimes you want to change the program but data is going to not be changed so this is the program data independence also sharing of data multiple user environments allow to access the data multiple users they can access the same time and due to this concurrency control software is also included inside the dbms software now we are going to talk about the users which are going to use the dbms there are four types of the users are there the one user that is known as the end users who is responsible for making query in modifying and generating report they are not going to concern with the working and designing of the database 
The second is the database administrators. By name, you are able to understand it is the administrator who is responsible for authoring the rights, giving the rights, monitoring the uses, providing technical supports, acquiring the software and hardware resources. Application programmers, application programmers who is writing the application program and who try to access the data through the database. System analyst who determines the requirements of the end users and that develop the specification to meet these requirements. So it plays a very vital role while designing the database. All technical, economical and feasibility aspects it's try to check. Advantage of the database, database is having the, some advantage. The first thing because the manual systems is having the disadvantage redundancy. So that duplicacy of data is going to reduce by the DBMS software that is the reductions in redundancy. Means same information is not going to store in a multiple files in multiple locations. They are interrelated. And due to this inconsistency is also going to remove, so it improve the consistency means uh, while you go try to access the information, you are always getting the same updated information. Availability is going to improve means now the multiple users are able to get the information very quickly. Security features due to this authorizations, database DBA, database administrator try to improve the security features also and DBMS is the user friendly because it's make a very easy to access, modify and delete the data. There are the limitations of the database approach and that is the first thing it is costly separately you are going to maintain the some new system you are going to implement the some new system definitely require some software require some hardware required some persons also resource person also. It's also and uh, there is one overheads are there that is called security and recovery. So this is about the basic of the database. Now in the next class, we are going to discuss about the relational database and it's some terminology. So till there, just be safe and keep watching my channel. And if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.